So earlier in my live stream today, someone said, why does God give cancer to humans? Another person said, why did God kill babies in the past? And I want to go ahead and address this for all the atheists that think that this is some type of like destruction of Christianity. Instead, I'm going to flip it on you and show you how this is an inconsistent view even on your part. Because on one hand, you'll ask why God doesn't get involved today in the evils of men, but then you'll get mad when he did get involved in the past. You see, if you understood the flood, after the flood, God put a rainbow in the sky as a covenant saying he will not do that again. He will not enact his vengeance on the entire world again until the end of days. So some people will look at that and say, that's not fair. Why did God punish people and kill people? But then in the same breath say, where's God at today? Why isn't God doing X, Y, and Z today? And then they'll say, why are kids starving today? I ask you, why are kids starving today? I ask you, why is there cancer today? God gave you the world perfect, but it was sin that led to everything else. Well, why did God create sin? God didn't create sin. God gave us a law. When we choose to break his law, we sin. God's law is the guardrail. You jump over the guardrail and then get mad when you fall to your doom and blame God for letting you fall to your doom. Why do kids have cancer today? I don't know. Why were companies so greedy that they bypassed all safety measures and put things in our food and put things in our cooking utensils? I mean, in cooking uh, wear like uh, Teflon. Why did men do that? Why do men covet all the money in the world and not share it with those in need? Why do we have more food in America that we throw away daily, but people don't have food in other countries? It sounds like if we follow the Ten Commandments of not coveting and not being greedy, then we would not have an issue here. Well, what about all the kids in foster home? Well, maybe if you followed the Ten Commandments and you weren't having sex before marriage, then you wouldn't have all these kids that are in foster homes. Why is there war? I don't know. Maybe if you loved your neighbor and loved everybody as God loves us, then there would be no war. It's almost funny, like people are mad at God for them making the mistake of not listening to his advice. You see, people aren't mad at God for not being God. People are mad at God for not giving them all the benefits of God and none of the accountability. People don't want God to be God. People want God to be a magic genie. And also what's funny is you want God to step in and kill evil people in other places that are doing evil things that you disagree with, but you would never agree that God should step in and stop you. Like seriously, if you want God to stop all the evil of the world, what if he started with you? What if before you lied today, when you lied to your friend, he snatched your breath from you? What if right after you had premarital sex, you dropped dead? What if when you were greedy, you died on the spot? You see, you want God to stop the evil that you recognize, but you don't want God to stop you. You want God to be patient with you. You don't want God to be patient with anyone else though. And every one of you on that day of judgment is going to stand there and beg him for forgiveness saying, I didn't know. I didn't know. And he's going to look at you and say, yes, you did. You rejected it. You suppressed the truth. You have no excuse.